Cleanup is underway in parts of Southern California after Tropical Storm Hillary hammered some areas with record-breaking rainfall. We have team coverage of Hillary's wrath, including new video of a terrifying plane landing in Orange County during the storm. But we begin with Jason Allen in Cathedral City, which was hit pretty hard. Evening, Jason. It really was hit hard, Pat, and all the cleanup here has stopped for the night. Officials have really decided to come back tomorrow with some more heavy equipment to try to get after roads like this one where there is a lot of mud. And not just these main arteries like this that leads out to the highway, but get into some of these neighborhoods where there is still tonight two, three, four, even five feet of mud in some places. The usually drought-stricken Coachella Valley spent the day digging out of and trudging through the muddy mess left behind by Tropical Storm Hillary. People there are grappling with the unprecedented and record-shattering deluge. The water was rushing and it was deep and all the rocks, you know, you're just very unstable. Heavy equipment was the rescue vehicle of choice today in Cathedral City. Crews pulled 14 people to safety after swollen rivers trapped them in a home care facility. They were carried to safety in the bucket of a front loader. Many in Palm Springs found they have temporary lakefront property. While people assess the damage that was left behind here in Cathedral City, the National Guard is here to help people who need rescuing still because some of the roads into these neighborhoods are still impassable. Travel into and out of the valley was impossible early in the day. There's no way in or out of Palm Springs, and that's the case for the majority of the Coachella Valley. We're all stuck. Interstate 10 is back open tonight, but was a traffic nightmare earlier, even hours after the storm passed. Cars and trucks backed up as far as the eye could see, stuck in a standstill thanks to flooding and debris. And heavy rain flooded this mobile home park, leaving damage in at least 60 homes. This was all water, like a lake, all through here, the backyards, the side yards. But it happened so seldom, you know. I like the people and I like living here, but it makes you wonder if maybe I'm living in the right place. So far, no deaths have been attributed to the storm. And despite what's sure to be a lengthy cleanup ahead, many are still taking it all in stride. After all, it's not very often a tropical storm hits the desert. We don't receive weather like this. I think we should look at it as like, hey, you know what? Let's look at the brighter side of it, you know? But it's an 89-year-old uh, 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 circumstance, right? I mean, we're not going to live to see the next one. City officials are expecting it to take at least another day to get some of the main roads like this one open. Pat, they haven't even begun the process yet of surveying or assessing to figure out just how many homes were damaged in these neighborhoods. You know, I have a feeling that's going to take a while, Jason. But, you know, you are in one of the hardest hit parts of Cathedral City. Are people still in that neighborhood behind you tonight? Many of them are. In some cases, mm. we saw heavy equipment today pulling up as far as they could and tossing water bottles to some people who didn't want to come out. Tonight, we have seen some people hiking out with mud almost waist deep, carrying some of their things out. They just couldn't stay another night in there. Wow. I was going to say, you know, Jason, people are so protective of their homes and their property, and sometimes it just takes you know, even a tropical storm that they won't leave. But we're glad that uh, everyone is doing okay at least. Right. And we'll be talking with you later this evening. Thank you, Jason Allen, reporting live.